to the 12th Hayley Roxana Crafts Quick Cross Stitch video where I share information, hints and tips on one area of cross stitch in a short video. In this video, I am focusing on how to do three quarter stitches on even weave fabric. So just like with the three quarter stitches and other partial stitches on Ada fabric, quarter stitches and other partial stitches when used on even weave tend to be used by designers to smooth edges and round corners. This is a reminder of how I show them on my charts. But do remember that other designers may show them in a different way, so it is best to consult the instructions before you start stitching. There can also be some variation in how they are constructed. I will be demonstrating how I do them and how I intend them to be done in my designs. A three quarter stitch is literally three quarters of a full cross stitch. Although this does mean that half of the square will be covered when you use these stitches, um, which is why some people will refer to them as half stitches. But this can lead to confusion if you are doing stitches that are half of a full cross stitch, um, so which is why I prefer to call them three quarter stitches as it's three quarters of the cross. Um, it's also important to remember that when you are stitching on even weave or other fabrics with high counts, um, you are normally stitching over two. So one square on your chart is equivalent to four squares in a two by two formation on your fabric. So if on your chart, the three quarter stitch is shown in the bottom left corner of the square, you need to bring the needle up in the corresponding bottom left corner of the square of the fabric, like so. And then you will go down through the middle hole of your two by two square. When working on even weave, then you need to come up through the bottom right hole of your square and then you'll skip over that middle hole and go down into the top left hole of your square to complete the three quarter stitch in the bottom right corner. If the three quarter stitch is shown in the bottom right corner of the square on your chart, you would need to bring your needle up in the corresponding bottom left hole of the square you're working on, on your fabric. And then you would skip over the middle hole and go down into the top right hole of that square. And then you want to come up in the bottom right hole, like so, and go down through the middle hole taking care not to pierce or go through, split this thread that's going over the middle hole. You just have to gently go under it with your needle. So you can go through the middle like so to complete your three quarter stitch in the bottom right corner. You can, if you prefer, do the quarter stitch first if you find that easier to make sure you're getting through the hole without damaging the thread to go across and then do the thread, the longer stitch afterwards. Just personal preference. If the three quarter stitch is shown on the chart in the top left corner of your square, you then need to come up in the bottom left corner of your corresponding square on your fabric. And then you'd go down through the top right square, so skipping over that middle hole. And through your top right hole of the square. Then you want to come up through the middle hole of your square, taking care not to split this thread that's going across it, and then down into the top left hole of your square to complete the three quarter stitch. But again, if you find it hard to come up through that middle hole without splitting the threads, you can always do that quarter stitch from the corner and into the middle instead. If the three quarter stitch is shown in the top right corner of the square on your chart, 
then you want to come up through the middle hole of the corresponding square on your fabric and go down through the top right hole of that square and then you want to come up through the bottom right hole of the square and down through the top left hole to complete your three quarter stitch in the top right corner of your square. If a chart shows two three quarter stitches in the same square, there are two ways to show this on the fabric, partly depending on your personal preference and partly depending on the designer's intentions. Um, this is how I prefer to do two three quarter stitches in the same square. I will literally do the full three quarter stitches for both stitches. However, some people may prefer to do the dominant colour as the three quarter stitch. Um, so the stitch of the image that's nearer to the foreground and then do the other stitch as a quarter stitch like this. There are also occasions where there might be three quarter stitches and quarter stitches in the same square in a design. So again, they would be done like this, just depending on which corner of that square you want your stitches in. Um, some people also do quarter stitches in place of three quarter stitches. If a back stitching is going over where the long leg of the design is. Um, but again, this is personal preference. I actually still prefer to do this and then I will put the back stitching over the top of it. If you have any questions about three quarter stitches, please pop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. In next week's video, I will demonstrate half stitches on Ada and even we fabric.